The throw 3D with walled eye expression is a variant of the throw 3D with walls, so you can bounce your element from some walls. And what I have prepared here already is a composition with some background, or here some background layer and some, some ground floor. There are just two 3D layers. And here's this text. And I also have here some shy layers, namely a camera and some lights that I'm not uh, caring about at the moment, so I just uh, make them shy and hide them here. And these lights just make it quite visible where our element is located. Yeah, so they throw some nice shadows and so on. And what we now want to do is to actually throw this layer here. Yeah? And with the uh, as with the other throw eye expressions, you need to first specify your ground height, so where it should hit here this floor. And in this case, you can see that this ground floor has a Y position of 588, yeah, or, oops, now I accidentally moved it. Um, maybe let's just lock this in the background. So you can see if I move further below, it disappears within the ground. Yeah, And at a height of uh, 588, it's exactly located on the ground. So ground height, 588. And then we have here this walls section, and in this case we have X walls and Z walls. And the Z walls are actually the ones in Z direction. So this uh, background element here is in Z direction. You can see it is placed at a Z depth of 1279. So this is our first 1279. And we just take the second and place it behind this one, yeah, so that it's not disturbing. And then our X walls we also currently do not lead, so we leave them at zero. Zero would mean if your element now moves to the left behind zero, it would bounce from this. Yeah, so there's an invisible wall, so to speak, in X direction here at zero. Okay, so like this we apply it and also enable auto apply it to accommodate for further changes if we want to do them. And now let's keyframe this. Yeah, currently nothing happens because it's just lying on the floor and if we now move our element a bit upwards, nothing will happen except that it falls down. Yeah, maybe I disable here the motion blur to get everything faster. So this is exactly as with the 2D variant. And now the nice thing is we can throw it and we can also throw it in Z dimension. Yeah? So we set here, for example, a keyframe. Now we go like two frames further or so. two frames further and move it now, let's say, a bit up and a bit to the back, like this. Uh, and now, if we see how this continues, you can see it bounces from the wall and comes back forward again. Uh, and of course, we can also keyframe it now or modify the keyframes now that we also get some movement to the side. So let's say we also want in X direction to move a little bit to the left. Uh, and what now happens, you can see it, it flies here to the left and then comes back. And if we do this a little bit more intense, let's say we move it even further to the left, you can see um, actually what happens here is that it bounces already at this virtual wall here on the left, yeah, at position zero. So let's move this wall out of the way to let's say minus 5,000 or so, and this one here also. And now you'll see it disappears to the left. Yeah. So this is, we, we had here this wall at point zero, and from this it already bounced. Yeah, and now this is not, not anymore the case. And if you want it to bounce there at some stage, you can just adjust these, these values here. Yeah? So let's just move it here again a bit more this direction. Uh, still it goes quite far to the left. So again we can use for this very nicely key tweak. Let's say we just want to modify really here the first and 
not the second keyframe. So I just do here this second keyframe in my work area. And now I go to the uh, point, let's say here, uh, where I want to preview my results, or where I want to see where it is at this point. And I go here to keyframe, key, key tweak, and now I move, yeah, I move this point and I preview here this point to see the effect of it. Yeah. So we can throw here and it bounces and it now goes to the left. And let's say, okay, we want it at this point here, or let's say at, at this point, there should be an artificial wall on the left from which it again bounces. Yeah, that is out of the camera, therefore you cannot see it. So this is minus 289 currently here. Yeah? So we can just go back here to eye expressions and say we have here a wall at an x wall, yeah, because we have the x coordinate, minus 289 like this. And now you can see from there it bounces. Yeah, so it bounces from the back wall and now it bounces from the side wall and comes back forward. So let's take a larger RAM preview of all this. Uh, now you have the bouncing here, the bouncing here, and of course you have also a second X wall, so you could have on this side also some bouncing. Um, yeah, I hope uh, this gave you some ideas what to do with this throw 2D with walls. So a lot of possibilities to animate your layers here in very realistic ways in 3D space.